The following program is rated mature. It may contain strong, coarse language, violence, and other mature content not appropriate for children under 17. The views expressed in this program may not represent those of this cable station or its employees. It's 9 o'clock on a Friday night, so grab a seat and you just might see something really great. You've got the time, it's not too late to watch a show that will give you laughs and chills and thrills. There's nothing that they haven't tried, because everything tastes great when it's deep fried. So lock your doors and sit right down, there is no better place to go. It is kind of adorable. It's awful and adorable all at the same time. Just like this show. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, welcome to the Not So Late Show. It's awful, but we're adorable. Mm, well, one of those is true. Anyways, uh, so Jay, huh. how the hell is everything? Not great. No? Why, why, why so not good? I've been sick all week with a stomach virus. How can we tell the difference? I don't know. A lot more bathroom breaks. And I say again, how can we tell the difference? No, even more than that. Oh. Yeah. Oh. How are you even out here? Because now we're, now we're in negative time. Yeah. This is 90 minutes mm-hmm. of we're going to test the boundaries of some things. And the strengths of others. Because you spend 166 and a half hours a week in the bathroom. Matter of fact, the only time you're not in the bathroom is when you're here. That's true. Or in vehicle getting here. Right. So 166 point and 20 minutes. Because it takes you five minutes to get here. 15. I've seen you drive. Six. Anyways. (laughs) Any hooter. Uh, So Pat is off fighting the Yeti this week. Uh, he is. I he's ha- been the I designated had, Yeti fighter. I had stool pet group, but now he's over there. He'll be alright. What's that? <laughs> that stool pet. Stool pet. <laughs> no, not, no. not pet stool. There's enough stool around here. Oh. I, I can tell. Uh, oh, oh, it, er, there we go. Uh, or, pet is uh, stool Groot. There you, there you go. Stool, yeah. stew, stool, stool, burp. Stu- no, stew is a uh, minion. What is he? What are we doing? Oh, because of the smiley face? Clever. Ish. Alright, you know, I'm taking the clever thing back. <laughs> it's just there. <laughs> Anyways, you know anything fun this week? No, Brad. No, I didn't. Because no? I've been in the bathroom a lot because my stomach tried to murder me. Did you want Did you want to give us any reviews on uh, any on various... Uh, diarrhea remedies. I know this is a great topic of conversation. No, Some because I didn't find any. Oh, so you're saying nothing helps? Not me. What did you try? Stuff. How many times have I told you not to try that stuff? How many I, times? I, How many times? Many. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Many, many. Mm-hmm. That's what I thought. Uh, all right. How about you? Will you do anything that wasn't involving the bathroom and? I eat, I eat Chinese food, so no. <laughs> no, really. So in the last seven days, all you've done is gone through an entire week, and now this Chinese food is your highlight. Here's what happens. Friday night. Uh-huh. Show. I eat Chinese food. True. Saturday morning, I wake up feeling awful. Mm. That's true. And yet here I am. I'm like, oh, delicious. Knowing full well. What this is going to do to Tomorrow you. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to be like, oh, God, I swallowed... What did I do? <laughs> Diarrhea. Indigestion. Um, I didn't, I did nothing of interest. Did you work? Did you remember to go to work? Mm. Did you remember to put pants on? I actually have nice pants on today. Yeah. The only reason I, they were the nearest ones to me mm. at the time that weren't completely like screwed up. So. I was going to say, either you had some sort of meeting at work. Yeah, I just didn't feel like doing laundry. We're meeting so at here the I am. Simsbury Airport Car Show and mm-hmm. Food Truck Expo. Mm-hmm. Really, this is just the closest clean-ish pants to me. Who's gonna know? It's television. Not only that's SD television. That's true. They don't, they probably can't even tell you. All right, fine. Pants. They were the nearest pants to me. There you go. How about that? I'm just saying, clean so it sounds better. Hmm. No, I accept that. Yeah, there's some you know, barbecue sauce right there. <laughs> How old is that barbecue sauce? Yesterday, last night. 
All right, that one's last night, and that one is Wednesday. That's better. Mm-hmm. <laughs> of 2014. Chick-fil-A, I'm just saying. It's, it, it's, in, it's in Southington now. It's very dangerous for me. It is. Yeah. It's very, very chicky. Mm-hmm. Chicky, chicky. So you had chicken, and I almost died. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sounds like a great week to me. Right. Hey, uh, so uh, do we have any tech news? <laughs> Not a ton to speak of, but there's some stuff. Well, uh, SpaceX just launched their Block 5 rocket, for all you space nerds out there. Nerd. SpaceX.com slash webcast if you want to watch a replay. Cool. Mm-hmm. Go, go watch a space shuttle rocket launch. That's cool. I've seen it in person. If you have a chance when you're down there, rocket. it's man. well worth taking a day and going to Cape Canaveral to take the chance to see a uh, rocket launch. You can go to spacecoastlaunches.com to see the schedule. Ooh. Mm-hmm. So I have sad news. Really? Exactly one month from today, uh huh. something's going to happen. Your diarrhea will end? If it doesn't end soon, there will not be enough hydration left in me. Okay. But That's the double fisting waters. True that. Mm-hmm. No, something even sadder than that. Exactly one month, June 11th, 2018. What is it? The last episode of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. No, but I do have a story on that in about mm-hmm. 45 seconds. All right. Give up? Yep. I, told, I uh, Wait, wait, wait. Something really sad. Sad for all of the entire country. On a Doug's geek, retiring? On a, no, that won't happen. No! <laughs> That'll never happen. Okay. No geek level. I guess Rob's level. retiring? <laughs> no! Not our geek god. Not, not, and I haven't called him this in forever, Studio Jesus. Oh, my God. Wow. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Net neutrality dies. That is that is actually really sad. It really is. Thanks, Congress. Now, dick bags. They were one vote away from actually squashing it and keeping net neutrality. What happened? Uh, they didn't get it. Mm. Last I checked. I mean, maybe something happened. Maybe the vote isn't until, like, next week. I don't know. But I was reading it piecemeal. But, they always, like they always say... The president doesn't have to sign it. Oh, that dick bag will. He will, mm-hmm. probably. But, uh, yeah, so if, not, if something's not done, I mean, there are states that are independently saying, mm-hmm. yeah, we're keeping net neutrality, and if you want to do business here, you're going to abide by That's this. That's what else. they're doing, is they're saying, if you want to have any contracts with the state, you must abide by net neutrality, essentially, set right. guidelines. Yeah. True. Yeah, I'm not doing no CPR promises. All right, I'm gonna give you the like the 60 second explanation of what net neutrality is. Good. Now I can eat. Okay. So, imagine. Yay! Nice. We win. Imagine you're sitting at home cruising the internet, right? You are paying 12, 15 bucks a month a month for Netflix, right? Yep. Well, without net neutrality. Your internet service provider could go, uh, oh, uh, so you want to watch, uh, you want, you want fast data for Netflix. So what they, they can be like, all of our stuff is slow, but you can enable fast packages for only 10 bucks a month, not including what you're already paying Netflix to actually get the service. We will enable fast service for Netflix. Which would basically mean they would completely make the service unusable unless you pay them extra money. Or they could do favorable things. So what if, uh, imagine it's like a Comcast thing or something like that, right? It was like, uh, uh, you, holy shit. Wow. But we have Stool Group. Yeah. You mean Stool Pat? Stool Pat Group. Yeah. What the hell? We didn't think you were coming. I mean, normally you're breathing hard and we can barely, you uh, know. Uh, we, well, I guess I'm going to go get a chair. Oh, right how about there. that one right there? That one. <laughs> and a mic. I'd, I, I, had, I had stooped, stooled, stooped, ah. to explaining net neutrality, Pat. Oh, God. Well, there's a story about how net neutrality is going to die in a month. It will. Exactly it will. one month from today. Or imagine that a uh, network, uh, uh, internet service provider could prevent you from accessing say Google unless you paid them an extra fee or but it was free to access their own shitty search engine that steered them towards sponsored results which would be like 
Moogle. Right. Uh, you can imagine it's the equivalent of, like, on the telephone. Like, oh, you want to call your grandma? That's going to be... Oh, I, I get the private spot? Yeah. Wow, this is weird. What, which one works? Yes. Uh, just plug it in whatever the next five. one is. Go five. So it's like, oh, so you've paid 50 bucks a month for phone service, and you want to talk to grandma? Oh, that's going to be an extra 10. And your aunt's going to be 5, and uh, your mom's going to be another uh, 7 after that. And it's all legal. Yeah, so that's essentially what they're doing. Is they're allowing internet service providers to treat data differently. So data you, from, they could essentially make certain data preferential, which would make certain websites useless. Uh, it would allow them to essentially control who and what you can see and talk to. It's almost like internet racism. Net neutrality. Is <laughs> well, net neutrality is, yeah, yeah, somewhere there's, somewhere there's a black ISP person shouting at the TV screen, but there you go. No. Uh, <laughs> the fact that it's going to go away sucks. Yeah. Yeah, it's awful. And I think Congress should be ashamed of themselves. Right. Uh, probably wear that right there. They, they nailed it, man. Go for it. How about Crab Oh, thank you. So how's your dad? Because he never answered yeah. texts, and you're a dick. Oh, he's good. He went, he, uh... That'd be really awkward, like, he's dead. Aw. <laughs> hey, guys, got something to tell you. <laughs> no, um, but I figured I'd wait for live television mm -hmm. to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they pushed the, the surgery back and back and back, and he was actually what? in and out. <laughs> was, your, was your surgeon going, he's rumbling, stumbling, bumbling into the <laughs> operating room? I mean, now that Chris Berman's semi-retired, it wasn't him, was it? No, it wasn't. We're no. moving your surgery back, 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 back. Way Gone. back to the wall. Yeah. No, no, right. no he, he's fine. He was uh, taking a what I like to call a controlled nap afterwards. <laughs> so he's he's Someone doing had night night time. Yeah. Oh, so the surgery's happened. Yeah. Oh, I thought you said they pushed it back to that. No, no, no. They they did. It was supposed to be at like oh. one. And then it was three. Then it was five. Then he was oh, like, I was picturing like days. No. Oh. Okay. And then it was like oh, and it's done. Oh. Okay. Uh -huh. Well, all right. I was saying before the show, now that he's okay, I can totally make this joke. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, you were telling us about the surgery earlier. earlier. I was saying it was a condition having to do with veins. Mm -hmm. It was saying, I almost responded, but I'm a good friend, so I didn't. Mm. I, was like, <laughs> I was like, you mean the one in the forehead whenever he talks to you? <laughs> no, yeah. that's pretty funny now. You, you could have said that. I thought of. It would have been a dick move, because that's you know, surgery. I don't know yeah. how serious it is. No, it's, it's more of the fact that He's anemic, so it's hard to do the surgery. Mm. So, you know, but he's good. They ever good. figure out why? It's just, it's just some people have it. All right. So and he's one of them. Yeah. yeah. Or rather, don't. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And it's not hereditary, so yeah. I, I don't have it. There you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, I would know. Right. Maybe your mom's a vampire. Probably. I'm. That was that was just a, this is a possibility we did not we did not discuss. Your mom's. Why a would my mom be a vampire though? Why not? Because your dad's anemic. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. It's either that or the dog. It's the dog. It's the dog. What? The dog's anemic, yes. Or the dog's a vampire. Yeah. Yes. Huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. One of, one of those is true. Um, wait, I think I've heard the song. The dog is a vampire. Dun, 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 dun. Right? Well, thanks for not being a dick. No problem. But you could have been a dick. I know. Oh, you want to hear the worst joke huh. I made this week? I posted on Facebook. You guys probably saw this. No. Uh, well, tell it and we'll, we'll say. I was having a conversation with a coworker. Nope. <laughs> That's a horrible way to start a joke. No, I was having a conversation with a coworker and we we're talking about, so it's, you know, we're always talking about, like, where am I going next? Hey, where are you going on vacation this summer? Something like that. And they're like, um, North, North Korea? No. Not yet. There's still time. Um, and they're going, oh, you know, I think I'm taking a, a national park trip out west. I'm like, That's amazing. You go out to Yosemite? Oh, uh, maybe. Uh, and they're like, yeah, you should totally go to Yosemite. I'm like, I've been looking at there. There's this uh, John Muir Trail there. Uh, I want to hike it. It's like, it's 15, takes 15 days to hike it. And they go, wow, that's intense. I'm like, yes, it is intense. <laughs> so you made a dad joke. Yes, I did. Dad joke level nine. I thought that was, I thought that was pretty good. Why are circus fires so bad? By the way, I hate you. Why? Because now I have three of those at my house. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, eh, it fills up multiple glasses. Yep. It's good. And then I had the one that you had in my car and I brought it into work and I mm -hmm. chugged the rest of it. And yep. I see. See? And, and Brittany said, oh, I can taste the, the, the diet in it. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. I like the taste. It's not bad. This isn't bad. No. No, this is... 
totally passable diet. Yeah, what are they use for the sweetener? Mm, baby kittens. Oh, cool. Hold on. Baby kittens are sweet. Aspartame? Yep, baby kittens. Baby kittens. It is aspartame. Poor baby kittens. Nope, baby kittens. Mm. Um, yeah, there you go. Well, I read, I read baby kittens as aspartame. It's Sorry. commonly mispronounced. Mm. Sorry. Uh, yeah, so net neutrality. Uh, really, you just that's literally you're coming at the first technique. Right. Right. Yeah, but the law just says that you don't have to abide. Not saying they but like they're gonna. Abide yeah, we're it. we're just gonna. No, every every company's gonna do it. Like every uh-huh. internet provider is gonna be like, oh, oh, we can do this now. Yeah. Here's the thing. They will do it mm-hmm. because all right, they can. Not not I'm not knocking on Altice or anything. We don't know what they're gonna do. We don't know what they're gonna do, but everyone at home. Oh, there we are. Hi, everybody. There's no tally light on that one, so I'm like, huh, 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 huh. Oh. Looking around like a scared potato cat. Oh, we got multiple uh, cans. Yeah. Uh, as opposed to just someone moving that one around really quickly every other <laughs> show. Um, is, who else are you going to get for internet? Like, you live off you, you live off away from any, like, DSL provider? Who else are you going to get for high-speed internet? Actually, I can get a bunch of different providers. Where you live? Yeah. Who? I can get Cox. I can get. <laughs> you just like it because of the name. What? You oh no! I was thinking of another joke. What were you saying? I was saying Cox. I can get. I can get Cox. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, the <laughs> now you gotta be just thinking about. The, um, no, there was like four or five that I could actually choose from. Didn't take much, did it? Uh, no. Ha. That's what she said. Nope. Wait. You 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 can get Cox. Wait, uh, but you have you live in an multi service area. Yeah, but you can still get the other services. They can't. Yeah, can't. We called them. We called them for pricing, and they, they told us. Am I missing something? I must be, too. Me, too. Yeah, I, we called around, and they were like, yeah, we can hook you up for this much money. And blah, blah, blah. I'm like, this okay. is why Cox has notoriously bad service, because you're like, can we get service? Yeah, yeah, we'll take your money. Did, did they ask you where you live? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, that was like the, fir- the first question. I said, we, we recently moved into this house. Okay, well, where is it? Blah, 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 and... One thing I don't other? think they know where you would think they know. Okay. Yeah, no. Oh, we thought you said Southington. Southington, yeah, no. Because here's how it works. Cable, well, like, I know how it works. It works off of franchises. Yeah, everybody owns an Ulti's area. Have, yeah, it's like, we got, it's a freaking cartel, basically. Yeah. Uh, and the fact of the matter is, who are you going to switch to? Nobody. Ghost. So, Fire. they will do it. Yeah, that's yep. what I said. They're going to do it because they can. Yeah. Uh, and unfortunately, you know, my vote signing petition and all that stuff is huh? going to mean absolutely dick. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yes, but this p- petition did not just affect me. It affected everybody in, in the mm-hmm. United States of America. Mm-hmm. So it sucks that all the, the nerds were like, you need to go sign this petition. You need to do this. Otherwise, your Facebook will not be your Facebook anymore. It will be, oh. Yeah, you, what if you had to pay an extra 10 bucks a month for Facebook and it's not because Facebook's charging, it's because your cable company is. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Then I'm not or, using Facebook no more. Or you want to watch Netflix or you want to watch That's Hulu. exactly it, yeah. though. That's how they can control what content you... It's like, oh, well, Netflix... You consume. They can force you into their content. And and if they make a deal with let's let's mm-hmm. just let's just say Netflix because they're probably the biggest most mm-hmm. recognizable name, mm-hmm. they say oh well we will offer your customers the high speed but but it's going to cost you some money which yeah. in turn costs us more money right because they're like oh we're raising our rates in your state for you know it's from ten bucks a month to fourteen dollars a month because mm-hmm. of X Y or B, you yep. know, blah 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 blah. Yep. It's like, we really know the reason why. Right. It's because you have to pay so-and-so right. to get the high speed, mm-hmm. which sucks. But here's my question. Where do puppies come from? That's another question. But oh. does this What's actually in a hot dog? No. No, I don't want to know that. <laughs> yes. This does affect internet porn. Well, then grab your pitchforks and torches because we're going to Washington. Yeah. Or go old school and buy some magazines. That's true. What's a magazine? Mm-hmm. Or just use your backup archive. Yeah. Yeah, but I've looked at those for decades. Mm-hmm. Why are you looking at my archive, dude? Why not? It's the best. It. Yeah. <laughs> when in doubt, go to the best, man. Go, go to go to go to J- go to JTube and <laughs> just have at it, furiously and vigorously and often. You've never noticed that Jackson Pollock painting getting more and more distressed over okay. the years. Okay. <laughs> Too far. We're getting that. We're getting close. I mean, it doesn't help that you contributed, too. That's true. Now, here's my real question. At the same time, nonetheless. <laughs> you know, when, you, 
<laughs> looking when, at me in the eyes lovingly. It was just, when, <laughs> while smiling. And, and, wherever that line was, I, I just pushed you across it I, and then jumped himself. He's like the no, no. This is like. But why like, were you wearing the who farted shirt with? It's burn like holes the five-year-old who you tell to stop. You're like, stop right there. And then they and then tiptoe, like, they tiptoe like they take a couple steps, thinking blah, 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 like blah, blah, a velociraptor or something, like like real quick. And then you start to say something, and then they just keep running. Or or, or you're like, like ha, ha, right there, and they just like they freeze for just a second, and then they tiptoe, and then they then they bolt for it. That's what I feel like you did with your Joker. Right there. I, li- I like to think that I'm more of like that. That cat that thinks he's stalking his owner, uh-huh. and he's looking around the corner, and mm-hmm. then he pulls back, and he looks around the corner. It's a I, I know what you're doing. And then mm-hmm. looks around the corner, and it's like, I see you. Mm-hmm. You're right there. And then he looks around the corner, and blah, it's on you. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, okay, you scared me. You got me. Speaking about comedians, have you seen... Um, but why'd you blow in my ear? That's weird. Um, I was just a thing. Yeah. In the face. All right. Um, Feet? I mean, whatever works, bro. Look at him. Look at him go. Anyways, uh, <laughs> speaking of comedians, John Mulaney. Uh, Are we back to him again? This is three weeks in a row you've talked about Well, him. no, this is a funny news story regarding that. Um, John Mulaney is awesome. It is true. Have you, seen, have you seen his new comedy special? No. Very good. Highly recommend Netflix? watching it. Netflix. Okay. Um, in it, all right, I'm sure you remember this. In it, he talks a lot about school assemblies and stuff like that. Uh, did you say, I'm sure you remember it? Like oh, like school assembly. Oh, I remember school assemblies. Yeah. Yeah, 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 just like how like random they were, and yeah. occasionally like you go in an assembly and it'd be like, "Here's a cop here to tell you about drugs. Why you shouldn't do drugs." No, but okay, go on. Oh, it's one's to telling you why you should do drugs. There we go. Yeah, that <laughs> rings much more prevalent to me. Yeah, uh, but anyways, it makes th- you do things faster. Yeah, yeah. he was talking about, uh, and then you take a long nap. Some call it a coma, and then you get and back you get up, down, and then you do it again. Uh, otherwise, you get bugs all over your skin. Yeah. Um, he was talking about a cop that came in by the name bones, of you just keep JJ Bittenbinder. Huh? Who what? JJ Bittenbinder. What about JJ Bittenbinder? I assume a lot of the time that like people who they talk about like in their com- you know people talk about com- comedic routines mm. like JJ Bittenbinder, who's apparently this cop who came in to talk about street smarts. Um, was There's, ah yeah exactly. Uh, you know about like how not to get kidnapped and all that shit. Like yeah. I assume like, like he's drawing off his childhood and he's just like making up names and shit like for that. Oh no, this guy's real, and he is ridiculous. Like the, the cop. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. And he like he's like I seen the special. I don't like it. I don't care for it. <laughs> but then you go back like by the way, scream and and, and fight. There is actually like someone like took one of his like VHS dates. Like there's an actual like professional like. Produce VHS tapes yep. and put it on YouTube. Okay, it is amazing. <laughs> it is amazing. You're just gonna watch it and on loop. And you like look at it and you're like, John Mulaney didn't write any jokes. He just like, well, mo- most he just described what happened. Most comedians yeah. like they're not exaggerated. That that's really uh-huh. the story. Mm-hmm. And and they may just say it in a way that's funny. Mm-hmm. True. But I watched that some watching out. Some was pretty funny. Yeah. But I do highly recommend that. I will, John Bellini. Mm-hmm. Bellini? Mulaney. Mulaney. Three smarts! Alright, sorry. Okay. Yeah! It was free. Um, I don't care, it's yeah. a metal tumbler. I know. Your brain rattles. Yeah, a little bit. What else we got for tech news, Jay? My question. Does net neutrality <laughs> affect cellular data? Yes. Really? Yep. So cellular companies can do the same exact thing and be like, oh, you want Rising to access to Yep. T-Mobile has already started. Oh. Well, it, yeah, it, they've been it, doing that it, yeah, for a it while. It is an internet provider just like any other. Actually, they were on the list of people that we could have called. We could have called, like, a, a, I forget if it was Netflix <laughs> or AT&T, mm-hmm. to actually provide us with internet. AT&T. <clears throat> so... Yeah, they're 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 they would they would batch in their cellular, of course, just to jack up the rates a little bit. Sure. Mm-hmm. Like, oh yeah, you guys use internet. That's why somebody said, you know, you should probably go over to uh, I, I forget if it was T-Mobile or is screw this, those guys. Is T-Mobile going over with Sprint or something? They're trying to do a merger. Okay. They were like, yeah, you you get this and, and this. And if you think cell phone consolidation is good, just ask Canada. It's uh, the highest cell phone rates in the world. Do they? They Maybe. do. Why did they just keep merging and merging and merging? They, they did have, until they there one? was only until there was only three providers left. Was that AT and T, Verizon, and uh, it's like it's like RBC Cellular and um, I d- Altel and oh. another one. I don't know what they are offhand, 
But um, Cell although I think I might have just gotten two of the three. Um, so but, it's, it's very but similar. That, but that being said, said like cell phone needs to be competitive, and then they get all these mergers, and then cell phone servers got crazy fucking expensive. Right. So enjoy competition. Yep. We. Yeah, I vaguely remember like unlimited data, unlimited calling, unlimited text messaging, like ads for like thirty bucks. Yeah. And now it's like, oh, uh, one hundred and forty. Yeah, you 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 want that package? Yeah, get ready to pay. You know, your your well, left the, it just sort of gives you an idea of like the package that that Jay and I share right now for cellular service. We're not, we haven't changed that in what four or five years. No. Nah. For the simple fact that the cellular package, it like. Even with like, oh, data rates and all that, like, it's still like, because the data rates have been hiked mm -hmm. because of consolidation, it's still actually the best deal. Which is nuts to think about it. Yeah. Think about technology getting better and cheaper over time. So right now we should be able to get like twice the amount of data for the same price. Right. Or maybe a little bit more taking into account inflation, right? Right, because everything's nope. faster. The technology nope. Is no. You can get half as much. Yeah, that's exactly it. So what would happen in, like, if you guys added more lines? Like, would they automatically upgrade you to the new stuff? I don't know. Oh. That's why we're not upgrading mm -hmm. or adding lines. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, sorry, Brittany. Mm -hmm. bum, 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 bum. Oh. Hey, what else is uh, in your tech news? Well, I have another tweet of the week. Ooh. It's going to be from it, your boy again. And it goes... Who? What? Elon Musk. Elon Musk. Oh. Even I knew that. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know if you're now talking to me. Now introducing the, the. I didn't know if you're talking to me or Pat. Yes. The, the Tesla laser pen. Me. I want it. I want it. Oh. Can I can I go into an Elon Musk related thing? Has it ever stopped you before? No. Nope. There you go. All right. So. I got my because they ha they send out this like terms and conditions mm -hmm. for my not a flamethrower or flamethrower. Yeah. From uh, the boring company. Uh huh. Yeah. Wh so, when are you getting that? Sometime this summer. Um, the 4th of July. Yeah. So I screenshotted all of these because they're amazing. Um, so it's from the Boring Company, which is obviously owned by Elon Musk, right. his, his tunnel boring company. Um, uh, yep, there's my email address. It says, on the next page, it says, I understand that I will be checking a lot of boxes while agreeing to these terms and conditions. Check this box to agree. <laughs> next page. Uh -huh. is, it, is it at that point you knew that that was going to be pretty good? Yeah. Not a flamethrower terms and conditions. I will not use this in, my, in the house. I will not point this at my spouse. I will not use this in an unsafe way. The best use is creme brulee. Mm. And that exhausts our rhyming ability. Check this box to agree. Next. Uh, terms and conditions. I will not use the not a flamethrower if it's damaged. Check to agree. Okay, fine. I understand that the boring company isn't responsible if the carri uh, carrier loses or late delivering my not a flame floor or flame floor. I understand that if some crazy thing happens to prevent me from receiving my not a flamethrower, the boring company isn't liable for it. But if something goes wrong, let us know. We'll make it right. There you go. Great. Um, check check a box. this box. Check this box to agree. I understand I can't resell the not a flamethrower and I understand that if there are no refunds or exchanges if I receive not a flamethrower and I'm not that into it. Take this box to Take agree. Take this box to agree. Whoops. Shit. Uh, burp, 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 burp. Wait. Did I miss something? Yep. Screen capping one of the pictures. God damn it. Uh -huh. Well, screw it. Anyways, it was really funny. Hmm. It was good times had by all. See, so I should. The big question is, when will I be getting it? Yeah, I don't know. No, uh, they the said so they said sometime early summer. It would seem. The medium question is, is do they provide you with the first thing of fuel? Um, probably not, but they do provide me with a fire extinguisher. <laughs> they do. They do. They they are providing fire extinguisher. A fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher but to come along with your not a flamethrower or flamethrower. Exactly. Or rather, an actually fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher. What am I not applying for? For safety. Mm -hmm. Safety fifth. Mm -hmm. Basically, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, Brad's going to light off all the fireworks. At once. Giggity. Mm. So you're ready for the tweet? Yep. It's actually two of them, and they were in very close succession mm -hmm. to each other. Any idea what it is? Don't burn the house down? We didn't start the fire? 
We just sold you the tools to do it. Did you say we didn't start the fire? Oh. Jay apparently did. You missed the pre-warning. The pre-show pre-warning. I mm -hmm. see the pre-show pre-warning. No, no, yeah, you don't. Oh. He said shut the fire in his underpants all day. <laughs> Apparently said diary for the best. Remember the stung pug I told you about in BJ's when I saw you? Vaguely? Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. The, the re-reckoning. By the way, I saw Jay. I, did, you, <laughs> did you also see the uh, like the bulk pack of underwear he also bought at the no, same time? No, it's a hundred pack. It, <laughs> I'm wearing them in triplicate. Yeah, whatever happened to those disposable underwear you got? They're still there in emergencies. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very in and, in and out visit it was, it was oh hey there's jay hey jay hey pat how's it going good you meanwhile we're both just buying completely mundane stuff with nothing it's like okay have a great day bye we're basically hair nuts with two holes hmm. well three actually if you got the large opening at the top mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. who the, underwear the disposable underwear the that emergency like underpants. out of the kleenex box yep. yeah are they still in the kleenex box oh yeah okay you don't take them out that's unsanitary oh well, <laughs> well what you're doing in your speaking of unsanitary. unsanitary ready for the two uh-huh yeah. I'm starting a candy company. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. It's going to be amazing. I bet it mm -hmm. is. It's Elon Musk. He's going yep. to be the Willy Wonka of our generation. Mm -hmm. All right, so. An Elon Musk candy company. All right, let's, all right, let's <laughs> pause. All right, fine, go. <laughs> okay. On that notion of he's going to be the Willy Wonka uh, of our generation, could you imagine if he actually did invite people into his candy-making facility, what it would be? Does he have a chocolate waterfall? It's Elon Musk. He probably does. Yeah. It's very sanitary as long as you don't let fat German kids into it. It's always unsanitary. What about Austrian kids? They're okay. All right. What about Bavarian kids? That's how you get the chocolate. Are they filled with cream? Yes. Mmm, delicious. All right. Then you mince them in the blender. I want you to describe your ultimate candy. A Three Musketeers bar. Get out. Nougat? I just love the flavor of Three Musketeers. Like nougat. We're talking nougat. Nougat. Mm. Is he the only one? Nougat's not bad. I've never heard of anyone like liking a Three Musketeers bar. I like Three Musketeers bars every now and then. They have their place. Uh, when Frozen. Nah, I don't, I don't do the Frozen. Like, I'm not even sure Like they have a place. Like, does anyone choose Three Musketeers Like, if it's not like... They're like, alright, Hershey's bar, Hershey's bar, Raisinets, Three Musketeers. You know, like, fuck, alright. That's the only time! That's what I mean. That's the right. only time. Like, you could put, like, start putting anything else in there. All right, give us another example. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Snickers Bars. Yeah. Caramellos. Uh, Charles oh, and Chew. Three, uh, three Musketeers. Yep, Snickers. Mars Bar. Uh, I'm not a Mars Hershey. Bar guy. Uh, but I'll take it over. Oh, yeah, I'll take it over. The all day long. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because you get one, th I mean, the nougat's fine. There's nothing right. wrong with nougat. There's nothing yeah. wrong with their chocolate. But it's just when that's nougat. it. Yeah, yeah. It, it's not special, right? Maybe it's special to me. I guess so. Describe your ultimate okay. candy bar, or describe your ult like if all right. If Elon Musk is going to create a candy company, what should he make? Like what? What? What can't like? We we've had some of the like uh, really good candies recently. What about like, a s'mores bar, where you have like a a a, wa mm -hmm. a wafer. Uh -huh. With a peanut butter layer, a wafer with. I don't. I'm gonna hate to break this to you. There's no peanut butter in a s'mores. <laughs> there is in his underpants, <laughs> and I know that came over the mic. Hey, I want to see where this is going. It's nowhere it's, good. I'm, <laughs> I'm calling it a s'mores bar. There's a wafer with a layer of peanut butter, a wafer with a layer of marshmallow, a wafer with a layer of dark chocolate, covered You're in. You're pandering to the witness. In. <laughs> Covered in salted dark chocolate. Ooh. You're really good, <laughs> Angel. Yeah. I like, you know. Well, because dark chocolate is better than milk chocolate. Uh, here's, I'm going to. Frozen. I don't like American oh. chocolate ever since this one's brought back all this candy from other countries. Like, yeah. Amer well, American, uh, Hershey's chocolate's garbage. Uh, garbage. Crunch bar or Hershey's bar? Uh, like Nestle Crunch bar? Yeah. Uh, Nestle Crunch. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Hands down. Um, all right, I'm going to throw out an alternate to you, okay? No, when I'm talking wafer to, I'm not talking, like, I'm, I'm talking, like, the actual wafer, like, those little diamondy wafers, like, 
Gotcha. Like in between. Here's what here's what I'm talking. I'm actually talking. Uh, so this entire thing is a candy bar, right? Yeah. Covered in dark chocolate. But like your base layer mm -hmm. is you know graham cracker. Okay. Okay. On top of that is marshmallow, salted pretzels, mm -hmm. layer of caramel, dark chocolate. What you just described is the take five. Uh, I think there's only four things in what I described. And it doesn't have <coughs> peanut butter. Sorry, you forgot the wrapper. Yeah. Why would you not want peanut butter? Because, like, peanut, it, like, I would, like, I feel like you can substitute out, like, if you're doing, you can substitute out, like, the marsh. I feel like it just, like, any other, like, filling substance, like, if there's going to be a filling substance, peanut butter should almost be, like, on its own. Like, you can put in, like, pretzels, you can put in other additive textured things, but I wouldn't mix, like, peanut butter and caramel. It's just too much sweet, and the flavor of each gets lost. So you think that in my mix, the marshmallow and the peanut butter would get mixed together? Because in my version, the peanut butter and the marshmallow would get mixed together, and it would be glorious. Now, do you mean an actual marshmallow peanut butter, like a peanut butter flavored marshmallow? No. No. But you see, but you thought about it for a second, didn't you? I did. Yeah. All right. I'm that, just well, uh, not actually be bad. Yeah. Yeah. Peanut 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 butter marshmallow. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Now what? Mm. Mm mm mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Um, what if you take like a legit? Oh, let me let me put it this oh, way. Okay. I know I'm mocking it. I would eat that in a hot second. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, hands down. Good. You're like, thank you. You're like, what's in this marshmallow? Pimp? Uh, then like, a I'm blah, not, blah, 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 like I didn't finish. You're like, I'm like I don't care. You're like I didn't get to the rat poison. Like mm, you're to die. <laughs> still tastes good. It still tastes good. A little bitter. How about you, Jay? Ultimate. Uh, what are you going for the candy? Three musketeers. Oh, for crying out loud! Come on. You can make anything. Anything. Mm -hmm. Would you change the three musketeers <clears throat> in any capacity? And make it not have a wrapper, so I don't have to take it off. So I can. What about what about the chocolate? Would you make it thicker or thinner? No. It's Would you make it dark it's, chocolate? It's perfect, just the way it is. Would you make it crackle less so that some of that shit doesn't fall in your lap and melt? No, you that's, know what would be nice. Uh, I, I can improve with Three Musketeers. Or, you uh, I, you remove the nougat, or no, you no, make no, it you half a stick, and then you add peanuts and caramel and cover it in a more a thicker chocolate. Stick with me. You don't get that? No, the, no one? No. Because that's just a Snickers bar, but all right. That's okay. kind of what I was thinking. <laughs> Big Kit Kats. Okay. Take that much chocolate and put it around nougat. Okay. That's how you improve. That could be improved. That, that you, Would that I make think, it a nougat cap? There you go. No, I would be attack? interested in trying, because here's the thing about nougat. is like It's all just like this... Kit to skier? Kit, kit, that sounds... Icelandic. New cat. Yeah. Uh, new cat. That sounds Chinese. Um, no. New cat. Because it's got nougat. I, I, or what, what if you had some of that like Kit Kat wafer with nougat covered? Like, like uh, if they had a crunchy Musketeers. So mix literally mix the Kit Kat and the the big Kit Kat and the Musketeers. Together. I think here here's like to me. What we need to do is freeze a big Kit Kat. Uh huh. Like I'm talking. Li liquid nitrogen, almost borderline uh -huh. liquid nitrogen, bore a hole in it and sh <laughs> shove nougat in there. Okay. And and then... How does one make nougat? Magic. Unicorn farts. I think you just described the same thing because unicorn farts are magic. Here's it's just more detailed. Just yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I feel like uh, uh, well, you, you, would, you wouldn't change they, it in any way. No. You, you know what? I'm going to make that big Kit Kat tier, but I'm going to call it the, uh, oh my gosh, what was his name? The fourth musketeer. Um, Harpo. <laughs> no. The D'Artagnan. The D'Artagnan. Uh, uh, yeah, all right, all right. I feel, I feel like. three musketeers. I'm the new guy. <laughs> I feel like we should have a candy bar off next week. I can't. I don't. I can't physically make this. I don't know. Like, what am I gonna do? Bring in my drill and literally make this thing? No. Yes. Wait. 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 So you're you're saying you want a kit, a big Kit Kat, 
we can buy, like we can go to the stop and shop and buy wafer. Yep. And like we can get like all of like the ingredients to like make this shit. We need to find nougat. Uh, I'll check Amazon. Hold all right, yeah. Can you can you buy no new? I think I think. I'll have or to what if he does? There, what, what if he just take take a knife to Three Musketeers and carve off the chocolate? Oh, that no. little thin layer of baby yeah. chocolate. No, that's called a Zorro. A Zorro. Uh. That's got doesn't have nuts in it. Zorro have nuts in it. No. All right. How do you make candy nougat? It even got it with a stupid accent. Okay. I found this on the web for Soft vanilla day. nougat recipe. All right. I would want vanilla because it's not vanilla. It's it's almost like a chocolatey nougat. All right. Well, you can add chocolate to vanilla. So you need ice, mm-hmm. egg whites, mm-hmm. sugar, corn syrup, water, vanilla bean, salt. So you put ice in a medium bowl, set aside, then you let it melt. I don't know why you did that. Uh, you put the, <laughs> so you just do you water. put the egg whites in a bowl, an electric mixer, fitted with a whisk attachment, and set aside. Stir together the sugar, corn syrup, and water in a medium saucepan. Bring to a boil over medium heat. Continue to boil without stirring until the mixture reaches 235 degrees. On a candy thermometer, about six minutes. Begin whipping the egg whites on low speed for about a minute until they are a little frothy. Continue uh, cooking sir- uh, sugar syrup until it reaches 245 degrees. For temperature goes higher, shock the syrup by setting the pan in a bowl of ice. Pour a splash of syrup into the egg whites, aiming for the space between the rim of the bowl and the whisk attachment. Continue whisking as you slowly add the rest of the hot sugar syrup. Increase the mix of speed to medium and whip together. The nougat reaches a full frothy foam about two minutes. Remember, it has to be light, fluffy, and whipped. <sighs> this is like a lot of work. It really does. And a lot of very specific things. I say we just get a Three Musketeers and, and chop off the sides. Can I eat it? Yes. After and then how do we do the big the Kit Kat? We just do wafers. The, the, you can buy the wafers. And then we what melt chocolate? Yeah. And how would we freeze it? Uh, uh, with ice. A freezer. Yeah, I have one in my car still. You still haven't taken it out? I know. I'm just the fridge. Really, really fucking lazy. Brad, so lazy. You also have You mean a doer? Whatever. I could get liquid nitrogen. Yes. I'm just saying, I feel like we should do this, and then, like, we should probably, like, we should make some uh, scrambled ostrich eggs or something. That's when the ostriches are, are in the mood. Right, right, yeah. Um, and then we're going to get a big... That's how we should make nougat out of an ostrich egg. Oh, yeah. That'd be God. so much nougat. I don't even know. Osta ooget. Osta ooget. Uh, so, uh, alright, I feel like there's something we need to plan and do, just, like... Build your ultimate candy bar and get a judge. But, but we were also making the ultimate for his breakfast. very last show. We were also making the ultimate. <laughs> but we he doesn't know it's his last. Yeah, show. yeah. We were making Surprise. the ultimate breakfast oh. though out of that ostrich egg. Oh well, we'll do that too. There's not going to well, be. We got breakfast and dessert. Yeah, you can do breakfast, lunch, and dessert from an ostrich egg. I've been thinking about the ultimate breakfast with like a big, a big mm-hmm. uh, pork belly mm-hmm. and uh, like an entire loaf of bread. Mm-hmm. The world's largest. Single egg, single piece of bread, French toast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sunny side up. Mm-hmm. I don't know how we would cook that. I don't think we have a wok big enough for it. Challenge I can accepted. weld together a spatula big enough to flip it. <laughs> Just buy a bunch of little little spatulas and... <laughs> weld them. No, oh, it's still no. good. Two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Okay, you're good. Um, we can weld it together. Weld one together. I think we can... Gallagher. Put it all on yeah. one big flat griddle. We yep. Can, we can carrot top the shit out of it. Yeah, we can carrot top. Nah. No one likes carrot top. That guy looks creepy. He's got no eyebrows. Because of a free well, chemical accident, yes. Was it really? I don't know. I don't know. So that was I was going to go with plastic surgery, but all right. So that was his uh, first tweet? It's first and second. Oh, oh the, the second one. Starting a candy company was the first one, mm-hmm. and it's going to be awesome. What's the second? All right. So do we have any other candies we, we think we want him to make? Caramello. Caramello is actually my second choice. Caramello is not bad, but it's almost it's too right. sweet. Yeah, it's all sugar. Well, which, which is really what a Three Musketeers is. Yeah. It's Fluffy sugar. sugar. Yeah. And egg whites. He gets his egg whites. Mm-hmm. I don't think they really put egg whites in it. I want peanut butter and jelly uh, M&M's. Had them. Well, they've had them. Really? Yep. Yeah. No one uh, the first or second Transformers movie, they did a limited edition run of a peanut butter and jelly M&M. What does it say? And what it was phenomenal. 
and uh-huh. I loved it, and then it disappeared for all of eternity. Now they're all gone. All right. I'm pretty sure you can still find them. Mm-hmm. Well expired and on eBay for ninety dollars a bag. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, definitely not underneath the seats in... You have it. You guys ate the Chinese. Definitely not underneath the seats in Apple Cinemas in Winstead. Did you, hear ha- did you hear what happened? No. So, early like early this morning or something like that, the fire department got called to uh, Apple Cinemas in uh, Winstead. Mm-hmm. Which is Park Hampstead. I don't know what the It's Park Hampstead. Park Hampstead. Um... Apparently, someone was using a gas leaf blower to clear out under all the garbage underneath the Are seats. Are you kidding me? How'd that work out for him? Oh, well, it set off the fire alarm, and then they had to ventilate the building from CO2. For carbon monoxide. I was say, carbon dioxide is very bubbly. Yeah. Carbon monoxide, yeah. that's a whole Who's different story. Whose genius idea was that? I don't know, but I bet you they've been doing that all along, and it just like was the first time it ever set off the... Uh, the carbon monoxide detector? Probably, yeah. yeah some, somebody closed the door. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't they just go with a battery-powered one? Because mm-hmm. that would cost them money. Because they've been using it too long, and now there's too many dead brain cells. What? Exactly. Mm. Uh, hey, what else we got for tech news? So as you alluded to before, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. No! Not Brooklyn Nine-Nine! No! What will Andy Sandberg do? Well, anything else? By the way, they... <laughs> anything it, else? It, do you, in that story, do they describe what other shows were canceled? No, that was, it was just a story about Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Well, well the, let me do the Brooklyn Nine-Nine first. But, 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 but there's, no. a, there's another! Well, that's fine. You can talk about that in your, right. in your news segment. Have you ever seen the show 911? Yes. Re- Reno 911? Rescue 911? No, 911. Mm. Never heard of it. So anyway... Mm-hmm. Fox, because they're always such good decision makers about which shows to keep and which shows to cancel. <coughs> Firefly. I am, I am fully convinced. <laughs> fully convinced. Firefly, Futurama. That Fox would have shot old. Like, if Fox was a person, they would have shot Old Yeller in the opening credits. <laughs> like, we got his puppy. <laughs> yeah. We and then the credits roll. That's it. Oh. Yeah. Well, Wait, you know what? Fox should just get completely out of the entertainment industry. Wait, they're they're in the entertainment industry. Not anymore. Yeah. So, but here's the cool thing. Uh huh. Brooklyn Nine Nine was announced that it has been canceled by Fox. NBC. As has, soon has... as they heard about it, Hulu, Netflix, TBS, and NBC all contacted the production company and said to, we'll digu- to discuss picking it up and keeping it going. Yay! And if you've never seen Brooklyn Nine Nine, treat yourself. It is a funny show. It is. It Where is a fantastic it, show. Yes. And it, it has decent ratings. It does. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, they also canceled The Mick. Uh, Last Man on Earth. Thank God. That was that one. That on. was just a train wreck. Yeah. And uh, you the know, first episode was good. Great. And Maybe then, two. And then it was. I don't even remember it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. The first couple episodes were great but because what, it was. Which one was Last Man on Earth? The, basically, a huge virus came and wiped everyone out. There was one survivor, the Last Man on Earth. Right. So he's like going around, like got all these like multi thousand dollars bottles of champagne because there's no one around, and then got a big downhill like driveway oh, I remember and started that bowling with it. I remember that show. Yeah, I, I actually bought the first season. And I was like, okay, this is actually not bad. This, and then you got to episode three, and then you're like, shit, I wasted all my money. No, actually, I bought yeah, season because two. Then, uh, I bought season two in the hopes that it would go back to what you it was. Delusional be, fool. And it never did. Uh, you know what they also just canceled? What? Because Fox hates Good everything stuff. you. Uh, is the la- uh, Last Man Standing. I don't know if I know what Tim Allen show? Oh, that one. They, they, I, they oh. They just bought it. It's coming, it was ABC and they just bought it. It's coming, it's coming back on Fox. They oh, it is coming back. They canceled it. There was an uproar, mostly from Tim Allen. <laughs> Basically, home improvement, like the later years. Yeah. <laughs> to he, a certain extent. Like he, after he owns a sporting goods shop now. Yeah, and yeah. Woo, one of the daughters born on my birthday. Woo! Uh, Doug, yes. have we forgotten what was canceled this year again? That's true, you're right. What? Uh-huh. Well, Doug forgot Jay's birthday, so. Oh. Doug <laughs> forgot my birthday, so his birthday is canceled yeah. again. Oh. Oh, I thought Fox canceled that too. That they probably <laughs> would. <laughs> Did Fox cancel Doug's birthday? Wait, wait Doug has since a birthday. Fox is, canceled. Since, 
Since Fox is interested in, in ruining wondrous things, they canceled Doug's birthday. Christmas? Canceled. Canceled, yeah. Uh, your flight on Southwest, canceled by Fox. And an exploding engine. Your flight on Delta? Fuck you, they're actually decent. Oh. Damn right. You mean, you mean I get on my plane mm -hmm. and I get a seat? And it takes off and it doesn't uh -huh. have things explode or windows crack? Uh -huh. What? Uh, it could happen. It could happen. Probably won't. No. But it could. <sighs> what were we doing? Uh, we were bemoaning uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine's demise. Temporary, hopefully temporary demise. They'll be back. Oh, yeah, they'll be back. Yeah. Uh, it's Did it's you hear such a brilliant the, um, show. The, uh, the Netflix brought back... Um, Oh my god, Arrested Development. Yeah. And yeah, season like, six is like out now or damn soon. Well, yep. pe well, people were complaining about the new season, how it didn't like go with everything. And the uh, like, the style was different or something like that. And then one of the editors went back and edited it back again. Mm -hmm. And it very closely matches the same style that they used on the TV uh, when it was on air. Wait, then why? why? Well, they also did season five like, out of order or some weird shit. What? Why didn't they do that in the first place? What, go back and re-edit it? No, edited it right the first time. I don't know. Mm. People were complaining, so they're like, you know what, let's go back and try this again. All right, well. Credit where credit's due. One of the editors like, you know what? Is it now the corrected version on Netflix or something? Uh, pff, I don't know. Oh, great, thanks for all those details. I don't know. Mm. Hey, speaking about what's coming back for TV shows. Guess Firefly? What no. Guess what just got picked up for 70 more episodes? Uh, Rick and Florty. Not Tremors. No, definitely <laughs> not Tremors, but yes. Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. 70 Morty. more episodes? Yeah, but... That is a lot ready. of animation. Oh, no, Rick. Get ready. That sounds like a lot of episodes, Rick. Get ready to wait. Yeah, it's gonna. It's animated show. That stuff takes forever to freaking produce. Yeah. And write and all the rest of that. And we got to get Dan Harmon to stop from drinking for half an hour to write a couple episodes. Well, now we're fucked. Yep, That'll uh, take about six months. Yeah, yep, yep. I got to get him sober again, and uh, there you go. Be, and letting go back on on, on, yeah. on or off the wagon. But they are going to do like a Rick and Morty like tour with the giant Morty or Rick bus or whatever the hell it is around the country. With, is it going to be like spewing Saze one sauce? Uh, let's hope so. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And people walking more, behind more, it with more, nuggets. More, Morty, and this is for Saze one sauce, Morty. More, more, more. I'll, I'll, I'll kill you for Saze one sauce, Morty. <laughs> Did you just hey. remix him? I, no, that's pretty much how he talks. Oh. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, a little, it's a little exaggerated, yeah, but only a little. a little. Yeah. Yeah. Just a bit. It's like when you go good news. It's only a little exaggerated. Good news, everyone. That's pretty good. Yeah. Good news, everyone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want the happy face to stick out. There you go. That's what she... Hey! Uh, cool. Great. Uh, you know what so, I learned this week? Uh, that Brooklyn Nine-Nine. All right. Uh, if we're... If we're Bless your bets now! Who is actually picking up uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine? I am saying it is going to be Hulu. Amazon. I'm, I'm saying Amazon will probably pick it up. Hulu's already got the streaming rights to it. Yeah. That doesn't mean anything. No, but it's definitely going to be a feather in the cap. I'm NBC, say, I believe, is a huge uh, well, just stakeholder the, in Hulu also. Uh, uh, so they only have the streaming rights through the current season. If you want to watch new episodes, I mean, Amazon's willing to pay for that. They leave the shows alone mm. to do their own thing. But Net Netflix is mostly interested in developing new stuff. Here's the thing. Mm -hmm. Who's going to throw the most money at it? You think it's Amazon. I, I, Netflix is being stupid with their money. Define stupid. They gave $300 million to... They made Bright. Yeah, they made Bright. No, no, they didn't. That wasn't bad. I think they bought Bright. They bought Bright. They didn't... Yeah, they did. They did, but it Martin wasn't bad. Martin Scorsese is making The Irishman, I think, uh -huh. with De Niro and Pacino. And he said, I need $100 million more million. And Netflix went, sure, here's a check. Now, why? Damn. And, 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 and he said, well, I'm going to digitally de-age them for the whole movie. It's a lot of de-aging. That's a lot. So they are being digitally de-aged for the whole movie. So this thing's taken like three or four years just to do. That's ridiculous. I mean, I, I get it. It's Scorsese. But at a certain point, you got to be like... Let's put You're like, this isn't there. Titanic 2. Let's, let's, let's put the thing let's out put the there. brakes on. Yeah. Like, uh, like, uh, in, in that de-aging, can you by any chance have them drink Coca-Colas? Mm -hmm. At three or four points in the movie? 
That'd be great. That'd be helpful. So yeah, could, just uh, a little uh, product uh, placement just in there. Some Kleenex. Maybe, and, maybe put uh, M&Ms in like uh, every room. Tide Pods. And uh, oh, they drive in a Chrysler 200 piece of shit. Uh, yeah, we're gonna, I know it's in the 80s, 80s, but can you throw a bus in the iPhone? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, oh, uh, speaking of Will Smith and Bright, mm. have you seen his uh, vlog on how he became the Fresh, Fresh Prince, Prince of Bel-Air? Have you seen that? No, but I just knew where you were going with it. What, what I hate is that he started a YouTube channel. It's actually pretty good. I know, but I hate it. He's like, uh, me too. He's like, I'm doing YouTube, and like I've been doing, I have like five videos, and then I'm going to go on Ellen, and I want a million followers, and he gets it, and I'm like... I hate Dick. I hate all of that. We have done more episodes than but, than Will but Smith. what arguably Smith. pretty fucking good. I mean, it is it is yeah, okay. <laughs> pretty, okay. Like I watch I, like in I his just, defense, I've watched some of the videos. They're funny. They are. If you haven't seen his Fresh Prince of Bel Air one though, like how I have not. how he actually got that role, it's great. It is ten minutes of great. Well. I'm not saying he doesn't deserve it. I'm just saying right. it makes me angry. Right, right. It's like that person is way too successful. I'm fucking jealous, and now I hate good, you. Good looking, can dance. Yeah, it's funny. He's like 90 and looks younger than me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, it was like uh, when Ryan Reynolds was on Top Gear. Uh huh. He's like, wait a minute, you're Canadian. You have a perfect smile. You're funny. Uh-huh. You're in shape. Uh-huh. Hey. You're good looking. Wow. The, yeah, I, I couldn't realize you're talking about me the whole time. You mm-hmm. could be. You have abs. Well, <laughs> there are. Brad just hasn't shown the world yet. I got a one pack. <laughs> and <laughs> and it's called said, a keg. There yeah. has to be something wrong with you uh-huh. to, to him. And I think Ryan Reynolds' response was, well, I do like to murder children every now and then. <laughs> and he's funny. Fuck you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he's two of those things. Yeah. Uh, did you see the recent Deadpool trailer with David Beckham? I did not see the David. It was all over everywhere. I did not see the David Beckham. It's, it's good. Yeah, it's good. Well, any- uh, it, it affirms two things: one, I can't wait to see Deadpool, and two, Deadpool, Deadpool, and two, David Beckham is still an awful actor. When, what, what else is he acted in? Anything else he's on screen with? Oh, okay. And also when he's like, ah, oh, my knee. When it's like, oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. When it. doing the, yeah. the Futa ball. Yeah, but it, it's not constrained to just knee. It's also when he opens his mouth and words come out. <laughs> it's also not good. Well, all right. You need some work on that. Okay. Yeah. That's, see, I, th- this is why I'd be a horrible director. It'd be like, you know, uh, you know, ask me for feedback. Give me feedback. Well, Pat, listen, as, as an actor, I, I, I just have a problem believing you whenever you say words. That's why I can never be a director. No, 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 no. You still got George Lucas beat. Why? Because I'm not going like, go, 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 go. No, did you ever hear the... <laughs> the, the, the story? Oh, come on. His neck looks like a fucking turkey. Yeah, it does. The, the the direction that like Natalie Portman and Hayden Christensen would uh-huh. get during Star Wars. Oh, I saw that. Was like, he's like, do it slower. And, he's, and they're just like... What is he, Arnold Schwarzenegger in True Lies? Slower. No, Okay. with passion. Look, no, 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 but not even that much detail. You got he's it. Like, he's like, read it yeah. a little bit faster. Okay. It's like, like not, hey, you're deeply in love with this person. You right, want right. to put, like, this is your one shot to prove to her that you love her. You know, I want to see right, that passion right. in the, no, it's just, say that line a little bit slower. That's it. Or say it faster. Or, there's going to be a pear floating here. Trust me, it'll look great. Just poke it with a fork and eat it. Yeah, and meanwhile, the that's act- actually a pretty good impression of George Lucas. So I'm just gonna do it with um, this here. So the fact that he got some things out of other some actors means that they were really good actors at the time. Yeah, pretty like, much. Harrison Ford, really good actor at the time. Uh-huh. Don't know about now, but really good actor at the time. Uh, talks a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Good Mark Ham- Mark Hamill uh-huh. got what he was doing. Yep, and I can only imagine that they just kept doing take after take after uh-huh. take. And, and the actors knew what they were going for and did it. Right. Until they were like, he was like, okay, good, we got it. Mm-hmm. And they, the actors just kept doing what they knew they right. needed to do. But if you have an actor that's used to getting directed and, like, you know, you'll have, like, a, a, a was it Peter Berg or right. something like that, that's actually telling you, like, here's where you should be mentally. Right. And then you have, and you have the other actor, or the director that says, be louder. Mm-hmm. It's like... <laughs> 
That's what anytime ever anyone ever tells me to do anything, that's all I hear. Just be louder. Yeah, pretty well, much. Yeah, you're already loud. Pretty much. Well, that's funny. Be I'm like louder. in the like, I I I did finally meet someone who was louder than I am. You met Gilbert Gottfried? No. Uh. Oh. Who'd you meet? Hold on. Um, isn't that like uh, from Dogma? What's that? Like when if you try to hear God speak, your head will your head just explode. That yeah, that's pretty much Brad level. If it's anything louder than Brad, like I thought I would like, because I always talk at like TV level all the time. Yep. Oh yeah, like oh, real yeah. real life oh. too. Oh, and projects. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Like like you hear him in the parking lot. Same off like, camera. Same. Wait a minute. You this won't make any sense to you. Okay. There you go. But, but no, it, we, were, we were going through through something, and it was, just, it was I was like, oh my god, it's the first one's ever met. It's just naturally louder than I am. Meanwhile, Holy Brad, Brad's three blocks away. Yeah. Huh. I think he's really louder than me. Yeah. <laughs> I can hear him over my Pre- Bose noise-canceling headset. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. While I'm listening to Prodigy and Rammstein at the same, st- same time. Yeah. Oh. Same time! Same time! Same time! Protestine. Protestine. Uh, sweet. All right, first McGee, what do you got? Did you? Did we ever do a story on what happened with Justice, the Justice League movie, and the directors? Yeah, you're right. Tell us, Pat, what happened with the Justice League movie and the directors? Well, everybody knows that Zack Snyder was doing the the DC universe. Sure. It wasn't great, but it was. It, it was actually going somewhere. It wasn't a garbage fire, but it sure as fuck was smoldering. So they brought in Josh Whe- <laughs> Joss Whedon. Would, would, would Rob agree to that? What? It, it wasn't a garbage fire, but it sure as hell was smoldering? No, it was a garbage fire. Okay, fine. So, it was a garbage fire. It was a garbage fire. All garbage fire all around. Well, Man of Steel I'll was concede. a good movie. That was a smoldering garbage fire. That was a smoldering You're garbage fire. You're a smoldering garbage fire. You're changing the subject. Anyway. It's still a garbage fire. So he, he had plans to actually go somewhere and, and in, in everything. Mm-hmm. And in Justice League, they... They said, oh, due to, you know, some family emergencies, he can't complete this. Uh-huh. So we're going to bring in Joss Whedon. Okay. Well, it turned out that wasn't exactly what happened. Okay, what did happen? They, they pretty much just said, we're bringing in Joss Whedon. All right. And Joss Whedon's like, I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll, of course I'll direct Justice League. Uh-huh. Oh, by the way, it's like three quarters in the can, so you got to fix it. And he's like, <laughs> uh, okay. So I, he was sold the bill. Here's bi- the thing, He, he was though. sold the bill of rights that here's what happened. So he was sold that story, too. I was uh, gonna say, he was, sold the he, Bill of Rights. He was sold the Bill Where's of Rights. Where's Nicolas Cage for this shit? And then Nicolas Cage came in, came in and, and, and yeah. stole it. So he was sold the bill of, that bill of goods that everybody else was sold. Uh huh. And then Justice League happened. Okay. And, and and if I remember right, Joss Whedon said, "I will do this provided that I can do a Batgirl movie," because he's always wanted to do a Batgirl movie. Okay. Joss Whedon. Femme fatale, f- strong female ladies. I think we can all agree between Buffy, Serenity, sure, you know all those. Uh, he he does very good, strong female leads. Uh huh. And somehow, when they were like, "Okay, yeah, we're gonna do uh, Batgirl now," mm-hmm. Joss Whedon can't come up with a story for it. A guy mm-hmm. who came up with Buffy for like ninety three seasons and yeah, that's kind of weird. Angel. But here's huh. here's the thing. So though. I think he unceremoniously got. Wiped off the slate and was like, no, 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 no. We're gonna bring in somebody else. Thank you. Yeah, I don't. Well, here's the thing, though. Like him coming in three quarters of the way through, like I don't necessarily buy that argument anymore because uh, who the hell came in for Rogue One and ruined that that potential for everyone? Because they basically came in like apparently was it Rogue One or was it The Force Awakens? Uh, it was The Force Awakens. I'm sorry, The Force Awakens. It also happened on the Solo movie. Really? Yeah. Okay. Because someone, someone apparently, like, uh, what the scuttlebutt is, is that, like... Creative differences. Yeah, sure. Uh, is that there were massive problems with the storyline for Force Awakens, and someone came in and just, like, totally fixed it at the last second, basically. I want to say it was Brian Johnson. Was that who it was? Be- because they, whoever it is that directed it uh-huh. had so many good ideas that they liked that they're giving him the, their own... Trilogy. Was it The Force Awakens? Or there, there was there was a, one of the Star Wars well, movies recently. First off, nothing you have s- everything that you have said is absolutely wrong. Which one? All of it. That's why I said absolutely All everything. right, Rob. Which which Star Wars movie did essentially... Rogue One, directed by Gareth Edwards, and then they're, they're, they hired a writer to come in and do rewrites and supposedly 
do some do the directing, and Edwards played ball, and then we got Road One. Okay. And, anyways, it also still happened. So the Force Awakens, yeah, that was it. Force Awakens, but that's what I'm saying. Like the fact that they were able to come back in and rescue that movie basically after was pretty much all in the can at that point. Mm-hmm. It kind of like the fact, oh, three quarters of the way through, you mean you got quarter of a movie to go to shoot? Oh, and you can't fix it, you know? Well, you know your Star Wars analogy. We uh-huh. will see what happens with the Solo movie. Uh huh. Because they did it again. They brought in Daddy Fix It, Ron Howard, who is the probably the nicest man in Hollywood. Yes. Um, who looks to, suspiciously like Doug Harrell. Uh, I, I, uh, uh, do not say that again. I like, I do not say that again. <laughs> say that Ron Howard looks like oh, Doug? Ron, oh, God, no. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, his secret is revealed. So, uh, anyways, we just compared the you to the nicest man in Hollywood. With Apo- Apollo 13? I'm the one who oh, hates it. Don't get him started on Apollo 13. He hates Apollo. it. It's the love boat of space movies. <laughs> <laughs> the love boat of space movies? Exciting <laughs> and new. <laughs> <laughs> but Tom, but he cast Tom Hanks and he's an American treasure. He is an American treasure and they American treasured it up the best they could. Yeah, and well, they got it, Bill Paxton who's an American garbage pile. But anyways. <laughs> is he, isn't he dead? He he, he low is low blow, Brad. Low blow. Is it too soon? <laughs> too soon. Yeah, Can I make jokes about Lincoln at least? No, too soon. <laughs> God damn it! Wait, the, wait, making making jokes about the dead guy or the movie? The dead guy. Oh uh, no, too too soon. Well, God damn it! Well, they're both James, dead, so. James Madison just became eligible. James Madison. <laughs> he just became eligible. You can make fun of him. All right, which one, the president or or the other one? All right, good times. What were we talking about? <laughs> Fixing movies. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that's that. Now Doug looks like Ron Howard. Or does Ron Howard look... Hey, who's older, Ron Howard or Doug? Hello. Hello. Ron Howard's much older, right? How old's Ron Howard? Ha- I think that Doug looks like Is Ron that it? Howard. Uh, or Ron Howard looks like Doug. Hold on, how old is, Doug, how old is Ron Howard? Me? Doug, can you hear me? Doug, Doug. He can hear you. You look like Ron Howard. Doug, what year were you born? Uh, 68. Ron Howard, Ron, Ron Howard was already on TV by then. Ron Howard reproduces very well. <laughs> <laughs> he did a very nice job with... Uh, uh, Bryce Dallas Howard? Yes, Bryce Dallas, correct. Yeah. I say, you, I, you, I don't... Highly unlikely you're the illegitimate son of Ron Howard. That sucks. Yeah. <laughs> you could have at least gotten some money out of it. Oh well. Now all you get is Apollo thirteen. Yeah. yeah so maybe he, maybe he got the red hair and the the good attitude. Can I, I don't see know. that real quick? Yeah. Only because my phone's. What's he directing now that sucks? Uh, that's right. uh, what is it? I keep forgetting. What the solo movie? Yeah, I keep forgetting he's in charge of that. Oh, 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 oh. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, you want to take a pause and talk about Doug? Because there's nothing more that I want to see is Doug in kind of a reddish maroon sweater with some sort of white and black logo on the front. If we could see something like that with him while he's talking about sports with a blue curtain on the left at the same time, so wait that would be amazing. You're telling me that Apollo 13 and Cinderella Man are not good movies. Cinderella Man was really good. Uh-huh. Rush, not so much. Rush, not so much. Okay. According to Doug, you can't make it an indie movie. Thanks to... Well, he, according to Doug, you can't make an indie movie either, but yeah. Right. yeah. Yes, because you know why? We listen to The Notebook, Doug's podcast. You mean The Yearbook? The Yearbook. <laughs> I, I, I listen to The Notebook. The Notebook is his secret one. It's yeah. a secret passion. <laughs> you don't listen to The Notebook? I listen to The Notebook. Where each week he takes the next five minutes of the movie The Notebook and breaks it down. <laughs> this is his fourth run through of the movie. Listen, I've, I've seen... Anyways, listen to The Yearbook. It's really good. Don't it listen is. to us. Uh, available on Stitcher and iTunes. Uh, be sure to check out the Yearbook Podcast by Doug. Uh, and here he is talking about sports in a non-podcast form. So, enjoy! This week in sports, there is no fancy titled intro. It's just, we couldn't believe that there's actually a Solo Cup Han Solo solo movie crossover. This is true. Solo Cups actually have a crossover deal with Han Solo the movie. Which we were like, what could Solo Cups possibly 
get out of being affiliated with that solo movie that's coming out. I mean, he's not gonna drink out of a cup in the in the movie, but then we thought, but then, 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 then it was like, oh yeah, that's genius, that's right, because then you could put Han Solo on Solo Cups. So it's like going to 7-Eleven for a special, a special edition Star Wars or Avengers Cup or something like that. Then you could buy your Solo Cups with Han Solo on, that's great. How could we be so stupid? That's a natural. But then, allegedly, we haven't actually seen one yet. Have you seen one yet? Have you seen these? Okay, he hasn't seen this yet. But then, allegedly, in the store, he's not on the cup. He and that Penn State basketball player, it's true, there's a Penn State basketball player under the uh, Chewbacca head, a uh, former Penn State basketball player, because if he were a current Penn State basketball player, that would be illegal. Um, he's not actually on the cups. He's on the packaging, but not on the cups. So now we're back to this is a stupid cross promo. And sports is next. So in the NBA playoffs, we got, we finally get the Warriors and the Rockets on Monday. Uh, those two finally uh, meet each other. Now, why is this such a big deal besides that they're two good teams? The Rockets run basically a football spread offense. Some genius, there's several geniuses that actually thought of this in college football, said, hey, football is a really big field. If we line our guys up all the heck over the place and we spread them way out on the field, it's going to be very difficult for the defense to be able to catch us and figure out who's going to get the ball. And it worked. Defenses were like, whoa. Who knew football fields were so big? And spread offenses started to work. Now Houston has brought a spread offense, kind of, it's kind of a reach, to the NBA, which is where the players spread way the heck out on the floor and they just shoot from anywhere. Seriously, they cross the midcourt line and hoist it. They shoot from anywhere and everything is so spaced out across the floor that the Rockets are able to get easy rebounds and then get layups when they're not making three-pointers. So, on the Rockets' side, Rockets versus Warriors, game one Monday. Rockets side, okay? The Rockets become the first team in NBA history to take more three-pointers than two-pointers, not in one game over the course of a season. They took more threes than they did twos because their giant computers say threes are better than twos. Twos are basically valueless. You miss them. Uh, you make, well, whatever. You get the idea. Analytics says shoot threes don't shoot twos unless it's like a layup or a dunk. So the Rockets become the first to predominantly shoot threes in NBA history. All right. No team even came close. The Nets, I think, were at 40% as far as how much threes mattered in their offense. So no one was even close. So you got the Rockets over 50%. That's great. But the Rockets were not very good at making threes. The best team in the league at making three-pointers was the Golden State Warriors. And like with the Rockets taking threes, no one was close when it came to the Warriors making threes. So the Rockets take a bunch of threes. The Warriors make a bunch of threes. Who will win? We're about to find out Monday in the NBA playoffs. Game one Monday. I still don't know if three is better than two. Maybe. 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 But aren't Maybe. all the other teams who like sh do that sort of offense just really shitty? Yes. So the Rockets are an anomaly. Yes. So why are they an anomaly? Or are they? No, they're an anomaly. Are they? Yeah, they're an anomaly. Totally anomaly. I listen to your podcast. They're an anomaly. They are an anomaly. Yeah. Right. If you if you listen to Doug's podcast, the yearbook, you or know the notebook. But search for the yearbook. Search for the yearbook. And then the notebook. I listen to it all the time. Yeah, then you, you, you too would know. Ha <laughs> ha, solo. Flash was good. Flash? Splash. Splash was really good. That was him. Okay. Splash was good. Once again, American Treasure. Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks, yeah. yes. Type, right. Typewriter fiend. Canadian Treasure, John Candy. That is true. He nearly ruined the National Treasure, though, with Angels and Demons. Who, John Candy? No. No, Ron Howard. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you're right. What's Jay looking at? Is that your Did you find my fake ID? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Where Fantastic. You, were you saying you're old enough to buy alcohol? Yeah, that too. Uh, what else? Uh, what else we got for Tech News, Jay? I don't know. We haven't even started it yet. All right, then. I want to see Brad's wallet now. There it is. 15 minutes left to the show, we're starting tech news. Man, your wallet's thick. 
And we'll yeah. maybe get one story. Get a lot of cards. I'll pick a card that I get to keep. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. I do have to clean out some shit out of here. Like my, I don't need my Disney passes in here right now. Right now. Hawaiian Airlines. Important. Did I have that one? No. Nope. I don't have any cash in here. Hey, Tech News, what else we got? Still haven't started. Tech News. What do we got? What do there we got? We go. So there is a video game that's coming out. It releases on the 16th, which is five short days from today. Which is funny, because you just released whenever you damn well please. Yep. Damn right, because... Ely, he's trying to make nougat. <laughs> I am trying to... I think I'm a unicorn. <laughs> you're, you're not. Uh, fuck you, yes I am. Okay, sorry. Keep trying to make nougat. <laughs> Eventually you. you'll make something. I'm going to make something, all right? Like a hole in this seat. So a new video game coming out is called Forgotten Anne. Forgotten Anne? Forgotten Anne. A-N-N-E. -N -N -E. Not E-N-E, because that'd be I-E at the end. So it's just Anne. Triple A card. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Well, everybody knows your <coughs> card number now. It's true. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Because we shoot in 8K. <laughs> uh. I mean, cumulatively together, I think we're in 1K. Basically. With all the cameras. Pretty much. Combined. Mm-hmm. Stop the job. Ooh, I think it gets wrong. I think it's Walmart. That is Walmart. Yep. Ooh, let me see. What did, what did Brad buy? Up oh, shoes, Arizona, Arizona. Gum, gum, shoes. A 43-pack of cards. Oh, you buy your uh, shoes with gum on the bottom already? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Saves time. All right, so what do I got for tech news? Give me my goddamn store. Like, give me my receipt back. I was going to scan into the Walmart app and see if you saved any money. Do you do that? You really should with the amount that you uh, shop there. Probably. Wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. What? The Walmart app? What about it? Has a thing called Savings Catcher. Yeah. So when you go to Walmart, you go to the app, you scan it, and... I learned something new. For seven right. days... Right, talking. For seven days, it scans other circulars and ads for other stores in the area, mm -hmm. and it finds something you bought at a lower price, they give you the difference, and it basically just builds on, like, a Walmart gift card. Oh, I did not know that. I have $2.19. and like nineteen cents. This feels like a waste of time. Why? If you, if you shop there a lot, you can just... You're it's only, it's you're only always guaranteed the lowest price. It's only it's only on their days. their their items. Whatever you buy there doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. All right then. So Forgotten Anne is kind of like if you took a gentle animated feature film that you can't quite remember the name of, with an art style somewhere like between Lilo and Stitch. Yeah, Lilo. See, somewhere between Studio Ghibli and one of those curious kid animation series from Europe. Okay. So put it all together, and that's kind of what this game is. Sounds weird. Uh, it has charming characters, Does anthropomorphic it? objects called forgotlings, forgotlings, uh, combed with an occasional smart puzzle and surprising gameplay twists. So it's a kid's game. I'm a kid. You know what game I'm still playing? What's that, Fall? Far Cry 5. Oh, that's a fantastic <laughs> game. Brittany's yeah. already beaten it. Has she really? That's yeah. a shock. And played every single mission. Not shocking. That's a lot of time on your hands. Me yeah. me meanwhile, she's sitting there like, what are you doing? I'm like, hunting deer. <laughs> yeah, I did play that a lot last night. And I, yeah, that's pretty, yeah. Ooh. Oh my gosh. That's One not, of those you might not want to trust. That's not good. No, you got to say it like uh, Sam Rockwell in uh, Galaxy Quest. Oh, uh, what? It, he says that's not right. Oh, that's not right. Very good. Thanks. Uh, I needed some uh, reference there. Yeah, uh, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know what you were talking about. But you did. You did it. You did it very well. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I was confused at first. Uh, I like that you're in the hot seat now, and I have a buffer. Yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah. It, it won't last. Let's go to another Doug video. And Pat's next to. Yeah. <laughs> this. Yeah. No diabeto. No cookie. So, anyways, uh, Sam Rockwell's doing something. Go on, Jay. So, the game is actually a, a gorgeous animated story where the gameplay actually comes second. Uh, if you had to describe it, it's a platform game like the original, original Prince of Persia, but without the death because we don't think you can die in this game. Okay. Uh, it's got some Monkey Island-esque exploration scenes. Haven't you always wanted a monkey? Yes. Sorry. And Dialogue-based dilemmas crop up throughout, 
which will actually affect the game uh, later on. Uh, there's a generally simple puzzle-based uh, component to slow down exploration and eke out a story, so it's not like, eh, 10 minutes and I already beat the game. So the world itself is a place where lost items like clothes, furniture, and other things live on, apparently waiting to be reunited with their owners in the ether. And the ether is framed as the world all these objects came from. Damn it. However, Anne, which is who you're playing as, is only one of two humans, and the other one is a surly older man named Master Banku. Oh, Master Banku. Yeah. Who seems to run the entire place that you're in. Are there any uh, bigger games coming out? Yeah, that don't sound so esoteric and boring. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to appreciate art. I appreciate Dude, art. Me too. There, there was a no, game yeah. that was uh, something about a blind girl that I really liked. It was very pretty, very well done. What was it called? I don't remember. The Probably wasn't girl. that good because of the... Uh... It was called The Blind Girl. Sure. But they did have some uh, pictures and some uh, animations of it online that I got to see. I'm like, oh, that actually looks uh, really nice. So, yeah. So if you like the Avengers and you'd like to get some visual effects at home you know, for I, your own videos... I rewatched re Doctor Strange. Why? A good movie. You know what? Uh, Brittany actually watched Doctor Strange and um, another Marvel movie. I forget what Twinsies! It. Anyway, sorry. No? All right. No. So I think she's trying to catch up so that she can see it because I was like, it's really, 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 really good. Wait. We're You're waiting. living with someone who hasn't seen all the Marvel movies? Yep. You guys fight about that? Yep. Thought so. Like, like when I came home the, uh, and she completely ignored this. I was like, so Black Panther's on instant stream. Like, I could buy it and I have gift certificates from uh -huh. work. And she's like, well, the Pleasant Valley Drive-In has, has them both in there. And I'm like... I could watch it now, and then and, and then later, and then you're like, I want a divorce, and she's like, We're not married yet, and you're like, I know. <laughs> Just I waiting wanna, for the day. I want a pre-divorce. Pre-divorce. I want a pre-divorce. It's like do a pre you, Yes, I do. Do you? Yes, I do. So I want wait. a divorce. If a fiance is pre-married, what is what do you call if you're pre-divorced? Free. Hmm. Your average in, relationship in, 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 an, <laughs> in an in an open <laughs> relationship. That's, I or mean, maybe it's just it's complicated. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, I think it's just dialed. So movie. Marvel movies, yeah. So there's a company out there called FX Home, and they have a evidently a popular visual effects for amateur software suite called Hit Film. Hmm. So what's it, what's it called? Hit Film. Film. No, FX Home. That's the name of the company. Okay. The name of the software is Hit Film. All right. So they just released their newest version of their free editing software uh -huh. called HitFilm Express 8.0. And they released a series of Avengers-themed tutorials and visual effects content demonstrating what regular users can do with the free version of the software. Uh, the series is called Assemble. Uh. And allows uh, amateurs or YouTubers or whatever to create professional-looking special effects without the cost. All right, uh, as someone who is a professional in the media industry... Who knows all the compositing and stuff uh, software really well? Professional what? Professional. I'm just a professional. Uh, he is the professional. I'm the professional. Okay, yeah. Oh, this is... Yeah, come on. Let's go. Show me what you got! Still loading. Uh, stupid titles. Check. Super stupid titles. Here's a picture of a gunslinger. Looking. 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 Jesus Christ. Well, they're not showing you anything, so I'm going to assume it's shit. Probably. So Brad, in a nine-second YouTube uh, search, has deemed this shit. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm trying again with a different longer clip. Keep going. Because you make it so easy. 
So in addition to motion graphics tools, 360 degree video tools and hundreds of advanced effects presets including lighting, explosions, heat distortion and smoke round out the features of the software. Uh, let's see, free users will continue to receive new features and updates. The pro version of HitFilm also received an upgrade. So if you already got this thing, then woohoo, you're getting new stuff too. It, the pro version includes a new layout panel with pixel perfect accuracy, which extends to masks. So if you want to go to a masquerade party, you're set. Yeah, you get an exploding mask. Uh, so if you have the 12 month subscription to the uh, Super Pro Mega version, you're going to get the update for free. Well, oh, this looks stupid. Well, Brad again in a 15 second assessment. Pretty much. It is comparing a multi billion dollar editing suite and company to a no, I'm comparing free like, piece of software. I'm comparing Adobe After Effects to this thing. They're like, you could do this, and these all look pretty shitty. But After Effects isn't free. What's that? No, it is definitely not. Yeah, it's very unfree. Yeah. Sure. Like, if you could find the absolute opposite of free. It's Adobe After Effects. Here's what they did, though. They're like, all right, professionals, take this piece of software and do the best thing you possibly can with it. And then they edited this piece, and it looks like shit. Well, it looks like free pro shit. am free shit. Yeah, free shit. Mm -hmm. Guess what? Go. It's a lot better than the video editing software on my computer right now. Windows Movie Maker? No, I don't have one. Oh, there you go. You don't even have a computer. Got to buy a computer. That's a, yeah, that's a problem. Uh, you want to do any other tech news? You want to do plugs? No, because we've got three minutes left. Hey, Pat. Hmm. Where can people watch our show? Right here. Right now. Oh, hey. Hey, everybody. It's good to see you. How y'all doing? Or they can watch us again at midnight on the midnight replay. Uh, from last week. Sorry. Oh, sorry. So you can watch us next yep. week um, at midnight. Yeah. Uh, so or, set or, your DVRs now. Or you can always uh, check us out on YouTube.com, which is... Uh, what's the address? YouTube.com slash NSLSTV. What about social media, Jay? Pizza the hell out of me. I believe, I believe the, the, the accepted medium for that is uh, Facebook. Dot com. Uh, I'm going to guess. Slash NSLS TV. I think that's right. No, okay. no Flitter. Twitter.com slash NSLS TV. Uh, NSLS TV at. Email. Gmail.com, yeah. Oh. Ooh, I thought we were on Fmail. That's it. Uh, let's see what else. Um, and I think, don't, I think... Don't forget to... to, to you Rob, your correct me if I'm wrong. The, the, the something book. <laughs> are we on Altice On Demand? Are we? Can people watch us on demand? Yeah, it's called YouTube.com slash Hey, YouTube.com You can watch us on demand. You can watch us on demand until net neutrality sets in. And then... And then you can still watch us at full speed because they're like... Yeah, no. Yeah, because we're, we're the only SD footage being posted left, except like, out of, like, Bangalore. Flawlessly. See, yeah. we found a loophole in the Matrix. We did, yeah. This is the, yeah. So, Pat... We're going to be the only thing watched on YouTube because we're only in standard death. So, Pat, yeah. ask Jay what he learned today. Uh, Jay, what did you learn today? Never trust a fart. He you have that. You... You... Really? Not even joking right now, have no idea how true that statement was at around 6 o'clock this morning. Okay. Did you have to change sheets? Did you I was shit about, yourself? I was about a millimeter away. Okay. Because I was like, uh-oh. And I'm like, uh-oh. You saved <laughs> I was like, a little... <laughs> you saved the I almost shit myself conversation for 90 seconds left in the show? Cheek to cheek all the way. Oh, my God. He has... He has he been dude, on the show before? Dude, <laughs> shit talk is our go. I know. <laughs> That's like our open. Bodily functions are our go-to, man. Like That's you our saw jam. me walk in the door, you should have been like, I almost shit myself this morning. I like, know. What? what? But it's not as funny when it's due to illness. It's more funny when you're drunk or not paying attention. No, it's not, a, not as funny. Correct, but it's like 99.8% as funny. All you need is Brad's midget that he keeps drunk in his basement, and you're there. It's right there. It's like you, having a brown know? nugget, and you just didn't use it. I know. You're just, you're just like, you know, yeah, you're like, you're, you're like in a war zone, and like, you've got like a gun, and you're just like chucking rocks in the other direction. It wasn't more of a nugget versus a tsunami. Okay, good, fine. Yeah, you could have wiped out Japan, Hawaii, oh, and there was wiping half the on. Polynesian islands, but instead, you dropped a little rock in a pond. That's right. You I know did. what I learned today? What's that? He's holding back on us! Jay, release. Re no, no, no. No, 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 no,
Doug, hold back clench. for yeah, clench. 22 seconds. Clench your anus. Yeah. Uh, By the way, did you know that... What did it, you learn today? I learned your uh, this, like, uh, this week, which I never get to finish, when you mow your lawn, a tree in the front yard looks pretty, but is a dick. I had to huh? duck. Uh, I mowed my lawn this week and, and... Did you clothesline yourself? About, about a dozen times.